So six months ago, I tried out a nifty little AI tool called Clay because everyone was talking about it. Clay. 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 And that video, it blew the fuck up, which is kind of embarrassing because I had no idea what I was doing. And I think based on the comments, you guys knew as well. But since then, I've been using it to help my clients with all kinds of prospecting strategies. And I've even partnered with their team to create content about Clay. This video included, it's sponsored, but I promise it's not shit. And it's fair to say that since then, I've become a lot better at using it. I even use it now to get more clients for my own business. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you the dumbed down version of exactly how I've been using it, give you some use cases, and show you a live walkthrough of how I might use it for one of my current clients. That way, you can literally copy me and use it to generate leads for your own business. And I will say, you or someone on your team better start learning how to use tools like these, because if you don't, you're probably gonna get left behind. Don't say, I didn't warn you. To give you a brief overview of exactly what Clay is and the ways you can use it, it's essentially a spreadsheet. You import data from any number of sources a CSV list from your CRM, a trade show attendee list, Google Maps, Google, LinkedIn, wherever it may be. You can then add to that data and manipulate it in any way you want. So you can use AI, publicly available information, and third-party tools to enrich the data. Think looking on Google, finding news articles, seeing their LinkedIn profile and their posts, checking out their company's social media, looking up some of their competitors. You can also then manipulate the data into actual outputs, so fields that you can push into your CRM or cold emails that you can have written for you. And then finally, once you've enriched that data and manipulate it the way you want to, you can then export it to anywhere you want. So that's your CRM, another CSV list, an email sequencing tool, a sales engagement platform, a dialer, so you can actually begin reaching out to these people. That's the high level of it, but let's make this real with an example. Let's, for this example, pretend that we're selling digital marketing services to dental practices. So think like SEO, website building, ad campaigns, branding, social media services, all those types of things. First, I'm gonna create a new clay table and I'm gonna import a list of dentists that have received an industry award lately. From here, I have endless options on how I might want to enrich this list by making use of Clay's functionality and built-in partners in exchange for credits, which you purchase as part of your plan. But first things first, a list of names and personal contact details aren't very useful to me if I'm selling to the actual dental practices themselves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the names and websites of the practices where these dentists work by telling Clay to Google the dentist's name and their city. Me telling it to do that, it'll then use AI to generate a friendly prompt with specified outputs and pump those two things into my sheet as a new column. Boom. And as you can see, that's way more useful already than just a list of dentist names and their personal contact details. But it's not quite enough to start selling just yet, so we're gonna enrich it some more. If I'm selling digital marketing, what might be useful to me to help me sell this list of dentists and dental practices? The obvious stuff, contact details, you know, mobile phone numbers, work email addresses. And yes, I can get those here or through a third party tool that I connect, but if I really wanted to level up my outreach and who I'm targeting, I might wanna know things like how well optimized their website is, their ranking on Google and their business page optimization, if they're using social media and how much they use it, and if they're currently running any ad campaigns on Google or Meta. Because if I know these things, I can achieve two things. Number one, I can prioritize the dental practices who are most in need of digital marketing services, like the ones I'm pretending to sell. You know, things like if they have a bad website, if they're running low converting ads, if they have a poorly optimized Google business page, then all of those make them an ideal prospect for my help. But the second thing is I can use this information to customize my outreach, my emails, my calls, my social media DMs to these dentists to call out what I've seen about them in my research, giving a good specific reason and dramatically increasing the chances that they'll have a conversation with me. This massively being out, just blasting out random calls and emails to just about anyone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a prompt that will go look at all all four of these things that we mentioned, score them against my own best practices that I've fed up, and then give the information back to me in a clean format that I can actually use in my cold emails and in my outreach. So let's do that. We'll create a new column, tell Clay exactly what we want and what outputs we're looking for, and then it will use AI to turn that into a beautifully optimized prompt that Clay will understand and actually be able to act on. And then once we run that column, Clay will put each output into its own new column so I can quickly see at a glance who's doing well at SEO, who's got a good or bad website, and to what extent each of these companies are currently present on social media. Great. We now know who in this list is the most in need of our digital marketing services. And using this information, we have an extremely relevant, personalized point that we can reach out to them about. 
It's very specific to them. From here, we can do two things. Number one, we can import this data into our CRM or another CSV list so we can actually begin using it. That way, a seller or yourself can reference this information and use it in cold calls, cold emails, or cold LinkedIn DMs. Or we can actually take it a step further and manipulate this information into an output that we can actually use, like a cold email or a DM following our best practices and our frameworks. So if I give a prompt and tell it what I want that cold email or DM to look like, it will actually generate that for me and then I can take that and import it wherever I want into my email sequencing or just copy and paste it straight into my email outreach. So in under 10 minutes, we just took a list of hundreds of dentists, matched them up with their practice, scoured their websites, their ad profiles, their social media, and their Google page, found the ones that are most in need of what we sell, pushed all that information into our CRM, but also generated hundreds of cold emails that address something specifically personalized to them and their business. Voila, that's it. You can see how that would have taken me if I had done that manually, going on everyone's website, going on their Google page, going on their ad campaigns, looking at their social media. That would have taken me 10 minutes per dentist. But using Clay and the tools that you can connect with Clay, you can do that much, much faster with a high quality output that you can actually use. This is just one example, but there are thousands of use cases and thousands of things that you might need to look for depending on what you sell and who you sell it to. One of my coaching students sells a DAM, a digital asset management platform. It's a better way to store your content for your employees and your customers to view. He might use Clay to look for software companies, universities, and marketing agencies who are in his territory, who are, and then look to see if they're experiencing one of the following things that would suggest they might be more in need of a digital asset management platform, like high turnover in their design departments, mentions of content management in their job ads, increased social media or blog output, a rebrand or the launch of a new product, or evidence that they're trying to grow out their partner programs and channels. Using this information, he can infer which of those people in his list have the highest need for what he's selling, but also then use and reference that in his outreach to them. One more example, another one of my students sells time tracking software. They might use Clay, import a list of accounts who they know hire freelancers, and look for those who are currently hiring contract employees, mentioning time tracking or reporting in their job ads, have negative reviews about payment disputes with contractors on Glassdoor, or even just mention hourly billing on their website somewhere. All of these would increase the chances that they may be in need of a time tracking software. And all of that isn't actually that hard to do because it's made possible by using Clay's prompt writer, which is made for dum-dums like me. You tell it what you want, which outputs you're looking for, and how you'd like it to be formatted, and it will go gather all of this information and mold it into your desired output. You can even connect your existing tech stack to this. So if you're using Zoom Info already, you can plug it into Clay and then use that as the place where it goes to find numbers and emails. And that will save you a ton of credits using Clay's preferred partners. So basically, Clay automates the shit out of everything, especially research, which reduces the amount of manual work required for you to send really highly relevant messaging to the perfect prospects. It is intimidating to look at, trust me, I know because I totally fumbled that first video. But once you get to grips with it, it is well worth doing. It doesn't necessarily have to be you as a seller, but ideally you can get someone in enablement, ops, or even an agency or freelancer to help you with this stuff. Because if your competitors have access to this information and you don't, they're gonna wipe the fucking floor with you. Hope that was way more useful and redeemed the absolute shocking tutorial or review I did of it back in January. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, that type of thing, drop them below and I'll try and answer them to my best of my ability. There are still things that I'm a little bit intimidated with when it comes to Clay, specifically APIs and all that stuff, but I've learned a whole lot and even just using this base function I've shown you today will help you level up your average game. Peace, love, sales, subscribe.